Hi guys, today I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of our new upcoming PyBytes middleware platform. I'm going to give you a tour of the features that are already implemented and some of the ones that will be very shortly upcoming. So when you first log into PyBytes, you'll be greeted with this screen. Um, it will list all the devices that you've already configured and if you haven't configured any, there'll be a little button letting you very quickly add your own device. I'll now demonstrate that process. So for this demo, I'm going to be using a low pi along with a PySense uh, and we'll get it connected up. So you'll click my devices here, then add device, it'll bring you to this screen which will ask you which device you're going to be using. So we're using a low pi. Then it'll ask you are you using a, a shield, so either PySense, PyTrack or if you're using something else you can click other. In this case we have a PySense. And then it'll ask you what use case you're going to be using the device for. So this, I'm just going to click environmental sensing. In the future, what this will allow you to do is um, it will automatically set up the dashboard on PyBytes and it will automatically upload uh, code or generate example code for the device uh, for that application. So, an example of environmental tracking, it will uh, make an example, it will give you a dashboard with temperature and the Pi, um, the PySense will automatically be uploading the temperature data from its sensor onto PyBytes. So next, it will ask you what kind of networks you want to connect over. So in the case of a, a, a low pi, you can use Wi-Fi or you can use LoRa. For this example, I'm just going to click Wi-Fi because it's the easiest. Um, we'll give our device a name, so we'll call it My low pi. Then you have to type in the SSID. This is for your local network that the, uh, the device will actually be connecting to. So I've set up a quick testing network here for it, save, and then you'll be taken to this screen, so you'll be given a code that you can type into the new upcoming update tool that will automatically connect your device to PyBytes, or you can update an existing device with new configuration, or it will give you a, um, a zip file with the code that you need to upload to the device. So for today, we're going to use the new update tool. Um, this, um, yeah, there it is. So this tool will, uh, it's similar to our existing update tool except that it lets you connect to PyBytes really, really quickly. So here we'll select our device, it's in the USB device, high speed, it is a PySense, and we'll click upgrade firmware at the same time. Then we'll type in our PyBytes code, and we'll click continue, and there we go. The device will now upgrade to the latest firmware available and it will automatically connect to PyBytes. So I'll just give it a moment to do its thing. There we go, the device has now been updated and it should now start connecting to PyBytes. So if we now go home, we'll see the new device we just added, um, my LoadPy. It's been activated, but it hasn't connected just yet. So the LoadPy here is now connecting to the local network and there we go, it says connected. And then we can click on the device and you'll be greeted with a dashboard. So right now this just shows the data usage of the device, but with future updates to PyBytes, you'll be able to upgrade this with your own widgets and graphs for data that you send to the device, make it a useful dashboard for your application, and it will be automatically populated by the use case that we selected earlier on. There's also a web terminal, so this is a really cool feature. This is similar to the terminal you see in our PyMaker plugin, except you can do it over the web. So if I go in here and I type in import uh, pycom, pycom.heartbeat false, we'll turn off the LED heartbeat, and then we'll go pycom.rgb LED, and we'll make it red. Now if we look over to our device, you'll see that the onboard LED has gone red. So we have access to a full-on MicroPython REPL shell over the internet via PyBytes. 
Next, you'll have a data tab, and in here you can see all the data that the device is sending. Um, yep, and then notifications, so this is a really cool feature as well. You'll be able to set up alerts for your device. For example, we have last seen, uh, which can which you can set a, a duration in minutes, hours, days, or months. And if your device hasn't connected to PyBytes in that duration, you'll get an alert for the device. You can have data usage so that you can uh, be alerted when a device is using uploading more data within a specific period than than you would hope. Uh, battery level. You can also be alerted when your device is dying. So, if, for example, you have something that's uh, being solar charged and the battery is getting low, you know something's amiss and you might need to go check on that device. There'll also be, um, at the moment these aren't functioning, but there will be alerts for firmware version, network connectivity, the location of the device, movement, which will be based off the accelerometer on the PySense or PyTrack, and even custom alerts. So if I go over to the other device that I set up earlier, the uh, Wi-Fi, which I have over here. So this has been disconnected for quite some time. And you can see up here, there's been alerts that the device hasn't been uh, connected to the network for more than 10 minutes, which is, if I go into notifications, you'll be able to see that I've set up the last scene of that. Now, if I plug it in, uh, we'll give it a few seconds and it will boot up. Um, and if we go back to the overview where you can see the time, so you can see this hasn't been online for 30 minutes, but in a few seconds it will pop up that it's already connected. Let's give it a moment to boot. There we go, and there we go. The device is now a bit connected automatically to PyBytes. And now the notifications won't come in anymore. So then we finally have the settings page. So in here you can uh, change the device, so at the moment it says saves Wi-Fi, but you could change that to whatever you wanted. Uh, the network, so if you've got lots of uh, networks labeled on your device, you can change the priorities of them and configuration and so on. And then the most exciting feature is the firmware upgrade. So this device, this Wi-Fi here, is on a very old firmware and would like to update it to be on the latest firmware. So you can click on, on this little drop-down menu, you can pick the latest firmware and then you press update. And this will signal to the device that it should go and download the update from our update server. And this will just take a few moments. Uh, the device is now downloading the firmware in the same way that we demoed in our last tech corner with the OTA procedure. So this will just take a moment. And when it's complete, there'll be a notification up here in the corner. It can take a little while sometimes. There we go, the device is successfully updated onto the latest firmware. So if we now go over to the terminal, I'll do import OS. Oh, it's still connecting to the device. So a bit too quick. There we go. Import OS. OS.ua. And there we go, you can see that the device is on the latest release of the firmware. So that's a quick uh, tour of our device view. We also have a device health screen. So this will be a quick way to see an overview of your entire estate of devices. You'll be able to see how many devices you have, how many of them are up to date with the firmware or out of date. So if we go over to my devices overview, you can see that the low pi we set up isn't on the latest firmware. So it will show here as out of date. You can also see which uh, devices have very low battery. Um, you can see which devices haven't, um, aren't, aren't responding to the network. Uh, how, much, how, much, how much data is being uploaded to PyBytes every hour. So you can monitor if, um, if you're uploading far too much data to handle. This will help you track that. And storage, uh, so at the moment you get 50 megabytes of data. Um, but this will let you see how much storage you have left globally across all your devices. And then there's also a quick um, sort of support link uh, page with links to the forums and documentations, and ticketing, GitHub, all that sort of stuff, in terms of service and privacy policy.
So that's a quick tour of PyBytes. I hope that all of you um, start using it for some really exciting projects. Um, Current is going to be uh, launching very soon uh, for an early beta um, with the functionality that you see here and it will be um, improving week on week and we'll be adding all the features and hopefully it will be released to the public for everybody very soon. Thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you next time.